Thank you for waiting. Now we'll begin the se session six, Experience Design Thinking. Please welcome Professor at Smile Experience Design Lab of Chiba Institute of Technology, Mr. Kazuhiko Yamazaki. Today, uh, I'll cover the experience design thinking, and uh, I'm uh, uh, very welcome to join these sessions. Uh, and uh, today, I'm starting from introduction and uh, user experience vision, and uh, design for IoT and cloud, and uh, context-based approach, also social center design approach. And the introductions. Uh, I'm uh, starting uh, learning uh, industrial design in uh, Kyoto Institute of Technology, and I uh, joined the furniture company named Greenups, and then moved to IBM Corporation. And uh, also, uh, uh, during uh, IBM employee, I was a uh, uh, student of. Uh, doctor degree of Kobe uh, Design Technology Company of University and the Tokyo Universities. And uh, I'm very interested in uh, research and uh, practical activities because uh, most uh, designer is, uh, they have uh, own design method, but it's not uh, clear. And, uh, I'm very interested in to utilize design method for everyone. And uh, this is uh, my design activities. Uh, I'm starting from uh, furniture or house equipment company. And so I designed the bathroom, kitchen room, furniture. And then I moved to uh, uh, IBM corporations. I designed uh, portable computer, or uh, starting from product to design of computers. And also, uh, I realized uh, manual and packages are very important to start up to use products. And then I realized user interface very important. So uh, I'm starting from product design, but I moved to graphic design and also user interface design for uh, software. And then uh, I changed to uh, designer to more like a design consultant because uh, IBM changed the strategy, more uh, consulting company. And so, and then I started to consulting several companies for design strategy or uh, user and design, or uh, user experience design. This is kind of uh, major my activity for the consulting companies. And uh, most companies more like uh, uh, IT or uh, mobile or uh, <coughs> more design thinking and uh, so. And uh, one of the my activity is uh, I belong to an uh, American uh, company named uh, Content Evolutions. And uh, this company is a very interesting company. And my friend and uh, my uh, several uh, colleagues uh, joined this company and the consultant to, uh, around the world. And uh, this company is uh, uh, many consultant, and uh, I'm uh, one of the consultant, and uh, collaborate with uh, uh, different uh, specialty around the world. And if the uh, company asks us, and we make a project team uh, around the world, and uh, to support the companies. And uh, most major our activity is. Uh, research and strategies 
and also brand and experience. And uh, th this whole keyword is uh, related very closely because uh, user experience is uh, related to the research very well and uh, we need uh, research at first and to find out uh, current user experience or user value. And uh, not just uh, concentrate one product or one system. Uh, user experience need uh, strategies because uh, user experience need uh, not limited one product, also a service or a web or a option or a next product. And uh, so uh, without strategy, uh, user experience is very difficult to adapt in the company. So strategy is the next keyword. And uh, number three is brand. And uh, brand is a change recently very uh, rapidly. Because a uh, few years ago, brand is related to advertisement, uh, logo or a color, and uh, more like a corporate identity or a visual identity. But recently, uh, brand has been changed more experience. For example, uh, my wife want to buy a new refrigerator. Uh, so at first, see uh, research with uh, kagaku.com or uh, research with uh, her friend. And uh, at first, she find out uh, experience of other people. So brand is uh, not come from a color or a identity, more come from a experience. So brand is uh, uh, another uh, important word. And also experience is uh, based on these companies. And also I am trying to uh, publish the books because uh, uh, my goal is uh, uh, design has a many good method or a good approach and uh, design method should not be uh, limited to designers. It will, will be very good for other people so that uh, I try to uh, make a books and uh, to use uh, design method by many people. And uh, one of the recent book is Experience Visions. And uh, starting point is uh, thinking about uh, uh, cleaner uh, in Japan. Uh, most consumer electronics company listen to the user voice and uh, they updated their product and uh, so updated, updated. And also, uh, uh, Kaizen is a very famous word in Japan. And uh, based on user voice, uh, el consumer electronics company uh, changed, updated uh, their product. But uh, recently, a uh, new different product come from uh, uh, United Kingdom. And uh, this product is a very different from uh, most Japanese companies. Or uh, came from uh, US and uh, iRobot is a completely different uh, product. And uh, this kind of product came from uh, new visions uh, rather than uh, current user voice. And so we need to make a propose a vision to customers. And also uh, we need to think about the service design. Uh, service design is a very important trend, uh, as you may know. And uh, if you think about service design, uh, we make uh, several layers of service design. 
And uh, for example, uh, time user is left, and uh, we divide it for layer of service. And top of the layer is more like uh, service layers without uh, products or without uh, technologies. And the next layer is activity layers, more like uh, user activities. And the third layer is more uh, like interaction layers. And uh, the bottom is a more, more like a system or uh, engineering based uh, layers. And uh, so if we need a service design, we, one of the idea is to divide these layers and uh, this kind of uh, background, uh, we, we try to uh, publish the new books named Experience Visions. And uh, this book is a proposed propose vision based on the user value. And uh, starting from uh, these uh, icons, and uh, this, uh, you can see the uh, shrimp, and uh, shrimp is uh, one of the goal of the users, and uh, or user value, and uh, we try to uh, uh, describe some more like a methodologies, and uh, this vision uh, proposed design method is uh, more like a service design. Uh, background, also uh, leading user center design. Leading user center design is different from uh, more current user center designs. And also uh, think about the user and the business and both way, and uh, start from uh, value of user and the business. And the collaboration with several specialists. And so based on human center design, but uh, a vision proposed design method. So experience vision is a comprehensive design method to envision the innovative service and system and product, which reflect upon a potential stakeholders and experience and the company mission and visions. And so for this purpose, we, we developed two key methods. One is a framework for vision center design method. Another one, is a structured scenario based design method. <coughs> and this is a very important chart uh, to compare the uh, current programming solving approach and uh, vision center design approach. And the black line is a problem solving approach. And the uh, orange line is a vision center design approach. And uh, so both line is uh, looks like a W, and the W is a very famous uh, design method by uh, Jiro Kawakita. Uh, maybe you may know the KJ method, and uh, he proposed a W design method, and uh, so this method is based on the double method, but the uh, difference is a uh, deepness or a highness of the each steps. And the black one is uh, program solving. So starting from uh, interactions, what, what is the problem of uh, current use, or what is the problem of a current product, more like uh, interactions, more like uh, uh, cross uh, reality or visibilities. And if to find out a program, maybe a user research to listen to the uh, user voice. And then uh, if you find the problem of the product, uh, make a uh, idea to fix the problem. And then uh, idea will be evaluated by user again. So this is a Black line is uh, more like a program solving approach. And the orange line is uh, different, is uh, deepness or highness. And uh, 
orange line starting from thinking about uh, more like a user barriers. And then research, purpose of research is more like a find out uh, user barriers, not find out uh, just interactions. So uh, user research is different. And uh, after the user research, um, maybe in strict user value will be found it. And then uh, make uh, ideas with a scenario. And uh, scenario has been divided to three layers, like uh, service layer I said uh, before. And uh, scenario starting from more like a value level scenario and then activity scenario and uh, interaction scenarios and uh, to cross to more like a reality uh, and also you use uh, evaluations and uh, to make a vision to the users. So this is a, a key chart for framework for experience visions and uh, the left side is a starting point and uh, goal setting of the project and then uh, Instrict user values, maybe uh, using uh, ethnometrical research or uh, deep interview. Uh, and also, uh, in parallel way, uh, policy of uh, business value is another important thing. And then uh, define the user settings, also business settings. And so if we uh, define the user setting and the business settings, now we have a time to make uh, ideas. And uh, at first, more value level ideas. And the idea should be uh, changed to user scenarios. And then move to activity scenarios and move to uh, interaction scenarios to move to more realities. So this is a framework for uh, experience visions approach. So I, I'll quickly show uh, each steps. And uh, at first, goal setting of the project is uh, very important because uh, what is the level of the visions? Uh, so you look at this chart and uh, Problem solving is a more like uh, interaction layers. And uh, project goal should be think about uh, more higher uh, levels. And uh, so goal setting is important to which kind of uh, higher levels. And uh, next phase is uh, insert user barriers and uh, so for this purpose, uh, we need uh, uh, ethnological user research, also uh, deep interviews, and also uh, to find out uh, uh, value by this kind of research. And so this is an example of uh, uh, to find out the uh, value of the user method starting from bottom line and to move to next line is activities and the top line is a body of the users. So bottom lines came from a user interview or the user research and uh, to find out the activity and to find out the value is a kind of steps from bottom to the top. And another uh, step is a policy of business value and uh, to clearly define the policy of business value, it is important to reconfirm the corporate domain, such as the division policy and the corporate policy, and then we need to define the policy of business value for each project. And uh, so for user settings, is uh, uh, come from uh, historic user value, but maybe you, you may know the persona is one of the very famous method, or uh, cast kind of approach to define the user. Also the bottom line is based on the policy of business value, 
And so this is a fine example of a user setting of personas. And the bottom line is uh, business settings. So take steps to query in stages and specification information about the business. The process of business setting is uh, described with uh, approximate business information in setting the goal of the project. So define policy of the business value, draft the business settings, and the detailed business settings. So in addition, linking each scenario and the business related information. So one of the uh, method is a business model canvas kind of approach. So if uh, you finished and uh, top and bottoms, now the time to think about ideas, uh, the name, the structured scenarios, and starting from uh, value of users, and then move to activity and uh, move to interactions. So three steps of uh, to realize the user scenarios. So it's so like this. And uh, so this is a kind of uh, example of the output. And uh, output is a scenario with a kind of visual uh, proposals. So I described the framework for experience visions and uh, this Method is already used to many companies. For example, Fujitsu utilized this method for their mobile phone. Or Asus in Taiwan company, uh, they used this method for personal computers. Or this is a kind of web uh, site for venture companies and uh, or this is more like a, a proposal for next ICT service and uh, best you utilize this method to make a proposal for next ICT service. Or another uh, example is a, a promotion for insurance companies and uh, based on this method and make a promotion design uh, for insurance companies. Okay, so I covered uh, experience vision and beyond problem solving. Proposed vision based on the user value is the keys. And uh, also uh, next phase is uh, design for IoT and the cloud now uh, we need a design method or a design tool for IoT and the cloud. So now I, iRobot is uh, moved to IoTs. And uh, also a healthcare service is uh, more IoT and the cloud basis. Maybe a, a main company is moved to a uh, uh, healthcare business. And uh, also, uh, this is a new idea for service, is a snowboard service. And uh, to adapt IoT on snowboard, and uh, uh, also utilize crowd and uh, more entertainment, also a sports uh, education service for this area. So another example is, uh, this is an uh, umbrella box. And uh, umbrella box is uh, usually just plastic, but uh, this idea is uh, put into IoT on a umbrella box. So if you put on an umbrella on this, uh, with a uh, report will be uh, shown. So there are many opportunity to utilize IoT and the cloud for new service. And uh, if you think about uh, uh, 
service design for this kind of area, we need to three viewpoint. And uh, so one is a human view, another one is object view, the last one is a business view. And uh, so this three view is uh, very popular, but the uh, key is a uh, target user is not limited to uh, uh, operators, also stakeholders, also a uh, context and uh, value is uh, another keyword for the human view. And this object view is a product and service and form and structures. Also user interface and uh, flow, user flow is uh, important. And the last one is a business policy and the business model is key. So we need to think about three view to create a uh, new service with uh, IoT and the uh, cloud. So for example, a human view, uh, we need to describe the, uh, what is a user experience and uh, user experience map or a service blueprint, kind of uh, visual tools for user experience is uh, very important and uh, uh, we need to utilize these kind of tools for human view. And uh, for object view is a uh, surface, is more like a visual areas, but we need to think about our architectures and structures and uh, this structure is related to uh, cloud-based service. And uh, so this structure is not limited to one product or one solution. This structure is related to the cloud business. And uh, for business areas, uh, business model is important. Also a uh, relation of the each uh, category is important. And uh, for this is a famous uh, book and uh, five principles of service design thinking. And uh, one is uh, user-centered, second one is uh, co-creative, and uh, third one is uh, sequencing, and the four is evidencing and holistics. And uh, these five uh, principles all related to uh, cloud and uh, IOTs especially uh, uh, evidencing is uh, uh, we can get uh, many evidence by IOTs or uh, big data. Also sequencing is uh, we need to think about uh, how they are service, software, and experience. And uh, so we need to uh, think about a more relation with uh, uh, how do your software and the service? And uh, so that the uh, platform is a uh, key for service with IoT and the cloud. And uh, we need to think about uh, what is a platform on uh, this service. For example, uh, uh, the left one is a uh, user categories, and the right one is a more like a object of the each contents and uh, how to connect the user to the object is uh, one of the key for IoT and the cloud. Also, uh, context is an uh, uh, idea to connections between users and uh, object. And uh, if you think about the platform and IoT and the cloud, uh, maybe we need to think about the four kind of uh, category of the users, planners, engineers, and uh, operator who manage the service, and the users. And uh, user-centered design is, uh, or user experience is uh, starting from the users. But for these areas, we need to think about uh, planners, service planners, and also engineers, also uh, service operators is a uh, key for the platforms because uh, uh, service operator is managed uh, day by day of service. And uh, planner is 
need to think about the new service, also engineer to adapt to the uh, hardware and software for new service. And uh, for these persons, uh, there are a couple of approach. And for planners, uh, lean startup and business model is a very popular approach. Also, uh, uh, design thinking so based, based on the experience. And for engineers, also lean start and uh, agile is a very popular method. But also for engineers, is a design thinking is a another uh, tools. And uh, for operator, we need a service design, how to manage the day by day service. And also design thinking method is uh, uh, utilized for this and also for users. And this is a kind of approach. And also uh, maybe uh, we need the tools for designing for each persons and uh, platform for planners, also a uh, uh, pattern library for planners, platform engineers, also pattern library for engineers, also user interface design for operators. So it is different from the users and user interface for users. And uh, we need uh, these kind of tools. And the example of these tools, uh, IBM is uh, uh, introducing uh, Bluemix, and uh, I categorize these uh, tools on this. For example, uh, Bluemix has a user interface for planner and engineer on these areas. Also, uh, Bluemix for user interface operator on these areas. And uh, user interface for user is uh, more like a common user interface with Apple or a solution by design centers. So, we need to think about uh, this platform and how to solve uh, these platforms. And uh, this example of uh, Bluemix screens and uh, each service is a module and uh, planner is able to make a new service based on to this module to like a puzzles or engineer will be able to make a uh, new service platform based on these tools. Okay, so for service with IoT and cloud, platform with experience is key. And uh, also the another important key is the context. And context-based approach is another important key. Uh, when I went to Kyoto, Ryokans, hotels, uh, if it's raining, uh, umbrella will be uh, prepared on the gate, on the entrance. And uh, so this is a kind of omotenashi or uh, a very good service uh, without asking, uh, Ryokan will be, will prepare the umbrella at the entrance. Well, this is a digital mirrors I designed two years ago. And uh, when I wake up and I, I will go to the uh, office, and uh, in that time, I need uh, two informations. One is uh, traffic information from my house to the office. Another information is uh, weather information around my house and around my office. And so this mirror will be shown based on uh, situation. Uh, so this is a kind of more like a context-based information. And the context is a very popular word in human-centered design. And the context of use is a more like a user work product system with a physical environment and the social environment is a context. And 
we need a context of use for uh, human cell design. And uh, this kind of context of, of use is uh, more uh, important rather than uh, product or service because uh, based on the context, user value or user requirement has been changed. For example, uh, so I talk with my friend by mobile phone. When I was in uh, stations, this sound should be more clear and more loud. But during the conference, this sound should be calm or a text. And uh, so con context is uh, more based on uh, approach. And uh, understanding context is a uh, books by uh, Andrews. And uh, I like this book very much and uh, because uh, understanding context is changed recently. So this is an example of understanding context at the airport. And when I went to the uh, airport, there are many contexts around myself. And uh, we need uh, many contexts. And uh, but uh, uh, <coughs> conventional way of context is uh, agent, myself, and uh, subject or a product or a system and the circumstances is uh, more like a, uh, without changing. And uh, I, I will change, but uh, product and uh, circumstances is not changes. And this is a more conventional way, but uh, recently we need to change the thinking of the context more like a agent, person, is uh, also part of the circumstances. If I moved, uh, context is a change. Also, uh, not limited to myself. Maybe uh, my friend is here, and uh, another friend is here. Or if you think about SNS, this is myself. Many uh, unknown people aren't here. So people is a one of the context is a key thinking. <coughs> and uh, based on uh, these context definitions, uh, also context, understanding context is uh, starting from uh, physical and then semantics and digital. And we need to think about the three layers of the context. Also, this layer is related to the cloud and the IoT. And uh, so I designed a watch, watch part, maybe over 10 years ago, <laughs> but it's too, too high. And uh, also, I designed to uh, wear glass, and also, it's too early. And, uh, but uh, now uh, we can say uh, five forces for IoT and cloud radius. One is uh, mobile, uh, next is uh, social media, the third one is big data, fourth is the sensors and the local information. So these forces is related to uh, context. And uh, also, uh, we need to think about uh, uh, compared with uh, content and the context. And uh, content is uh, more recognized from physical, more human, object, circumstance, relations. But context is unrecognized from physical viewpoint. And uh, relation is uh, very important. Also, Content is a more understood by the subjective and visible relations. But the context is understood by objectives, also invisible relations. 
And uh, so we, we need to find out the uh, invisible relation or uh, uh, maybe uh, now we can utilize IoT uh, cloud or uh, these kind of technologies for context. So, so this is an example of the context is uh, uh, emotion, cancer mail, emotional maze, and uh, I made it. And uh, this idea is uh, based on the context, but uh, context and user interface will be uh, different because of uh, uh, user preference is different. For example, uh, if uh, I loved red color, red color is exciting colors for me, but if another four people, red color is, uh, he hated red colors. So I thought uh, uh, happy birthday uh, with uh, red colors to my friend, but uh, my friend hate red colors. So preference is different from the users. So preference is one of the context. Also context has been changed and we need to think about uh, uh, user preference or user uh, activities as a, one of the context. And in this case, is uh, uh, this is a kind of mail, but uh, if I input the mail in text uh, and the background color and the animation is changed based on my preference and my context. And, uh, if I send the email to the, my friend, and uh, this email is uh, text is the same, but background or animation is different because of uh, different preference and different context. For example, uh, he look at uh, this email in the midnight. I write the, this email in daytime, so context is uh, different, and. Uh, background and animation should be adapted to the context. So this kind of uh, uh, example of the context. Also, uh, I made uh, lighting. This is a kind of uh, emotional lighting, constant lighting systems. And uh, if I send an email to my friend, uh, this lighting system will be changed based, based on uh, email, also uh, context. So uh, for service with IoT and cloud, context approach is a key. Okay, the last one is a social center design approach. Uh, recently, uh, social is a very uh, getting more popular. For example, NEC announced the social value design and uh, innovation come from user experience and social experience is ideas. Or uh, Fujitsu announced a new service for uh, crowd for food and agriculture. And uh, so this is uh, one of the social center design approach. And uh, so we started from users and business. But now we need to think about uh, social also. Because social is also part of the context. So all the context is a user and uh, business or a project, product or a service. But now we need to think about social for uh, as a part of the context. So I showed this chart and uh, very close to this chart and this chart, man, you can find it. And uh, one of the approach, very uh, famous traditional Japanese uh, thinking is good for three ways and uh, sampo yoshi in Japanese, and uh, good for uh, user or company or socials. It's a popular word in Japan. And so I thought uh, social center design is uh, good for three way. And uh, so very close to traditional Japanese uh, word. And uh, we think about uh, this word for social center design approach. And uh, so for example, uh, uh, in the beginnings, I explain the experience visions. Experience vision 
is uh, thinking about the user and the business, and then make ideas. Now, if we need to think about social, uh, we need to add it one more. Maybe uh, social visions or social settings, and uh, to create ideas from three ways. And uh, this is a comparison chart from a human centered design or social centered design. And uh, look at uh, this human views. Human centered design is the user and the stakeholders, user value, user experience, user participate design. Now, social centered design needs to think about the socials, also social values, social experience, also a social participated design. And for object, we designed the product and system and service. And now, social center design need to think about the social object. Social object is, a, uh, for example, is a kind of uh, uh, free pictures, free data by users. And also business view, uh, we need to think about also considering social for business policy and the business models. Okay, so for service with uh, IoT and the cloud, social center design approach is important. So now my presentation is almost finished and the uh, summary is uh, I started from the experience visions and uh, beyond the problem solving, uh, we need to propose visions based on user value. And then for service with IoT and the cloud, Platform with experience is key, is uh, next uh, my uh, chart. And uh, number three is uh, for service with IoT and the cloud, context approach is key. Because uh, context, definition with context is uh, changed. Okay, uh, so uh, my, or my uh, presentation is ended. Thank you for my uh, presentations. Thank you very much.